Hello students, how are you all? I hope you are doing well. Today we are going to discuss chapter 9, soil. Let's warm up. So students, before we start this chapter, let's warm up. And assemble the letters to name different kinds of soil. So students, look here. Here we have three types of soil. So you have to write the proper name of the type of soil. Like look at the first we have sandy soil. Second we have loamy soil. So that's how you have to write the name of type of soil. Let's know about soil, components of soil, types of soil, soil erosion. So students, we have to discuss these topics in this chapter. First we have soil. The most important natural resource which sustains all life on the planet is right beneath your feet. It is the soil. The precious material is present at the top of the earth's crust. It enables the growth of food. It is also home to billions of different organisms. It is found everywhere. Soil is formed by the weathering of rocks and minerals. So students, what is the soil? Now we read about it something more. Weathering is the process of breaking down of rocks into smaller pieces. So students, if we talk soil, ki baat kare, earth ka topmost crust is the topmost crust. And we get food from the soil. There are many different types of organisms that are the earth's topmost crust. Pe kya hai? सर्वाइव करते हैं अब हम वेदरिंग की बात करें तो वेदरिंग क्या है एक प्रोसेस है जब आपकी जो रॉक्स हैं वो छोटे छोटे पीसेस में ब्रेक डाउन हो जाती है नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू रीड अबाउट द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ सॉइल इट प्रोवाइड्स प्लांट्स अ सरफेस टू ग्रो इट प्रोवाइड्स न्यूट्रिएंट्स रिक्वायर्ड बाय प्लांट्स टू ग्रो इट गिव्स सरफेस टू रूट्स ऑफ प्लांट्स फॉर एनोक्रेस इट इज अ हैबिटेट फॉर मिलियंस ऑफ ऑर्गेनिजम्स नाउ स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव एन एक्टिविटी एक्टिविटी 1 Collect different types of soil samples. You may find them in your school, at construction sites, roadside or a garden. Using a hand lens, observe these samples carefully. You may notice pieces of grasses, pebbles and small organisms in the soil. Make a list of all the things you find in the soil. So students, you have to collect the sample of soil and check the sample with the help of hand lens. Then you have to make a table what you find in that soil. Okay students. Now students we are going to read about the layers of soil. Soil is made up of different layers. The different layers of soil are called horizons. So student different layer of soil are called horizons. A vertical section of soil showing its different layers is known as soil profile. The dead and rotting remains of plants and animals form humus. Let's now study about the different layers of soil. So students, the dead or rotting remains of plants and animals ke wo kya form karte hai? humus ko form karte hai? Ab hum study karenge about different layers of soil. Now, first we have the topmost layer of the soil is called a horizon. It is rich in humus. It is rich in minerals needed by plants for their growth. It is soft and porous. It can retain, hold more water. So student, the topmost layer hoti hai, usko hum a origin bhi bolte hai, wo soft hoti hai, porous hoti hai. Plants ko ek surface deti hai, grow karne ke liye, aur bhoot saare water ko jo hai, hold karti hai. Now look at this picture, students, we have layers of soil. A origin is the home of many living organisms like insects and worms. The roots of plants grow in this layer of the soil. Then we have subsoil or B origin. B horizon lies just below the top soil. It has a very small population of living organisms and is less fertile as compared to A horizon. It contains comparatively less amount of humus. It is rich in minerals. It is generally harder and more compact than top soil. It is lighter in color because of the presence of less amount of humus. So students, ye kya hoti hai? Minerals mein rich hoti hai, lekin less fertile hoti hai for plants. Now we are going to read about the next we have. Parent rock C origin. Below the subsoil is the parent rock or C origin, which consists of a small pieces of rocks with cracks and surfaces. The particles of rocks found in soil come from weathered rock in the C origin. So, students, C origin kaha hota hai? Below B origin, or most of the kya present hota hai usme? Parent rock. Now we have bad rock. Bad rock is also called the parent rock. This parent rock produces soil over a long period of time. The parent rock is very hard. Now, students, we are going to read about the components of soil. We have soil is made up of different sized rock particles. These different sized particles influence the properties of soil. 
डिपेंडिंग ऑन दियर साइज द रोग पार्टिकल्स आर डिवाइडेड इन टू फोर ग्रुप दीज फोर ग्रुप आर फर्स्ट वी हैव सो स्टूडेंट्स अगर हम बात करें तो सॉइल क्या है कितने ग्रुप्स में डिवाइड होती है फोर ग्रुप्स में द फर्स्ट वी हैव क्ले इट हैज द स्मॉलेस्ट साइज ऑफ पार्टिकल्स इन फैक्ट यू कैन नॉट सी अ सिंगल क्ले पार्टिकल क्ले फील्स स्मूथ बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स स्मॉल पार्टिकल साइज इट हैज पार्टिकल्स लार्जर दैन क्ले डायमीटर बिटवीन जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो टू मिलीमीटर एंड जीरो पॉइंट टू मिलीमीटर देयर फोर इट इज नॉट सो स्मूथ फॉर एग्जाम्पल इट कैन बी फाउंड इन अ रिवर बैग दैन वी हैव सेंड इट हैज लार्जेस्ट साइज पार्टिकल्स विच कैन ईजली बी सीन डायमीटर ग्रेटर दैन जीरो पॉइंट टू मिलीमीटर दे आर कोर्स टू टच सो स्टूडेंट सेंड के पार्टिकल्स क्या होते हैं काफी बड़े होते हैं यू कैन सी सेंड at your homes at your gardens and everywhere now we have gravel it consists of the largest rock particles other components of soil are as follows now we have some other components students that is humus the organic matter like dead and decaying remains of plants and animals present in the soil is called humus humus is important because it makes the soil fertile as it contains all the nutrients required by the plants for their proper growth it also improves the water holding capacity of the soil humus also provides foods to earthworms beetles millipedes etc so students humus kya hai ek aapko growth provide karata hai plants ko important part hai soil ka now we have living organisms many bacteria and insects worms live in the soil then we have water water is also present in the space between soil particles plant do not grow without water then we have air the gaps between the soil particles are filled with air soil organisms use air for respiration let us perform a simple activity to show that air is present in the soil so students for testing that air is present in the soil now we are doing an activity here we have activity 2 take some soil in a beaker pour water over it observe carefully do you see some air bubbles in the water coming out of the soil now student look at this picture this on the basis of its component soil can be defined as a naturally a covering of broken rock particles and humus on the earth surface which is capable of supporting life so student jo hamari soil ke jo components hai unke basis pe ye hai ki hamari jo earth hai us pe life possible hai क्योंकि एयर वोटर एवरीथिंग इज प्रेजेंट इन सॉइल नाउ वी हैव चेक एंड मेक एज वी ऑलरेडी रीड अबाउट दीज थिंग सो यू कैन डू इट बाई योर सेल्फ नाउ वी हैव टाइप्स ऑफ सॉइल बेस्ड ऑन द परपोर्शन ऑफ वेरियस पार्टिकल्स प्रेजेंट इन द सॉइल द सॉइल कैन बी ब्रॉडली क्लासिफाइड इन टू सेंडी सॉइल क्ले सॉइल एंड लोमी सॉइल सो स्टूडेंट जो हमारी सॉइल में पार्टिकल्स प्रेजेंट होते हैं उनके बिहाफ में हम अपनी सॉइल के जो है types define karte hain the first we have sandy soil it is coarse in nature with very little clay it has big it has big spaces between the particles and this allows air into the soil but is not able to hold water or nutrients plant roots cannot hold on this plant roots cannot hold on to this soil but there are some plants that can grow in the sandy top soil because their roots can penetrate deep through the sandy top soil to the subsoil so student agar hum sandy soil ki baat kare bahut sare plants isme grow nahi karte hain kuch ek plants hi hain jo grow karte hain and the second thing we have ki sandy soil jo hai wo coarse hoti hai nature mein get it students now we have clay soil this soil mainly contains smaller sized clay particles sand and silt are present in presses the characteristics of clay soil are since the particle size is quite small the particles are compactly arranged because of this very little air can be trapped in clay soil this is disadvantage of clay soil clay soil can hold much water water drains out very slowly through clay soil this can however lead to water logging which can damage the crops Clay soil tends to be heavy and holds more water than sandy soil. Clay soil can hold nutrients. So students, clay soil की disadvantage है कि उसमें बहुत कम air, उसके particles के बीच में बहुत कम air present होती है. वो nutrients को hold करती है, लेकिन उसको flow करना बहुत मुश्किल है. Now we have loamy soil. It is a mixture of sand, soil, and silt. Silt particles are present between the particles of sand and soil. It also contains humus and is therefore considered the best for the growth of plants the precolation rate is between that of sandy soil and clay soil 
सो स्टूडेंट्स जो हमारी लोमी सोइल है वो बेस्ट होती है प्लांट्स ग्रोथ के लिए नाउ वी हैव सम पिक्चर्स हियर क्ले सॉइल लोमी सॉइल नाउ स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू रीड अबाउट द डिफरेंसेस अमंग सैंडी क्ले एंड लोमी सॉइल लुक हियर स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव प्रॉपर्टी सैंडी सॉइल क्ले सॉइल एंड लोमी सॉइल फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी वी हैव मेन कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट्स सैंडी सॉइल लार्ज साइज्ड सैंड पार्टिकल्स Clay 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 soil 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 smaller sized clay particles, loamy soil, clay sand and silt present in right portions. Then we have second. Second property space between particles. Sandy soil quite large, clay soil quite less, and then loamy soil sufficient. Now come to the next property, students. We have presence of air well aerated, sandy soil not well aerated, clay soil can hold sufficient air. then we have loamy soil can hold sufficient air now come to the next then we have fourth property water holding capacity sandy soil can hold much water clay soil can hold much water loamy soil right water holding then come to the next that's we have nutrients sandy soil can not hold nutrients then clay soil can hold nutrients then we have loamy soil can hold nutrients Now come to the next students. We have plugging. Sandy soil easy to plug. Clay soil difficult to plow. And the next we have, and the next we have loamy soil easy to plow. So student, these are the different properties of different types of soil. Now we have properties of soil. First we have soil color. The color of soil can tell scientists a lot about it. Most of these are shades of black. brown red gray and white generally the darker a soil is the more nutrient rich it is the darker color often indicates an increase in decomposed organic matter known as humus gray soils often indicate poor drainage while red color indicates very poor soils their general rules about soil colors can however be misleading under certain conditions a poor soil can appear as dark black while a rich healthy soil can can appear as red so students so students first property humne discuss kiya soil color to agar hum soil color ke bare mein baat karte hain to jo soils ka color hote hain wo red hota hai brown hota hai gray hota hai white hota hai black hota hai aur aisa mana jata hai jitna dark color hota hai utni hi hamari jo soil hai wo nutrient rich hoti hai now the second we have the second we have precolation the rate of absorption of a soil depends on its composition the process of absorption of water by soil is known as precolation precolation rate milliliter per minute is equals to amount of water milliliter precolation time in minutes so student this is the rate of precolation or precolation kya hota hai jab koi soil kitne kis rate se ya kis amount mein water ko absorb karti hai now we have soil texture the size distribution of soil particles decides the texture of the soil sand silt and clay are the three main types of soil particle beside these particles soil may also contain small stones called gravel so student soil texture kya hota hai jo soil ke particles hote hain unka jo size hota hai wo decide karta hai ki soil ka texture kaisa hoga now we have soil erosion As discussed earlier, the top soil is very fertile. Strong winds, river, water, or heavy rains may carry away the top soil. The removal of top soil by either strong winds, flowing river, water, or rain is called soil erosion. Soil erosion is more common in areas which are not covered by trees or grass and are bare. In the absence of any vegetation, the top soil becomes loose and gets easily carried away. Soil does not erode if it is covered by vegetation. The roots of the plants bind together the top soil particles and prevent soil erosion. Soil erosion is caused by overgrazing, deforestation, and excessive plowing of fields. So, students, if we talk about soil erosion, how does it happen? Wind se ho jata hai, river jo aata hai, flood jo aati hai, usme bhi soil erosion hota hai. Heavy rains ki wajah se bhi ho jata hai. To wo jo top soil hoti hai, wo kya ho jati hai? Remove ho jati hai. बट अगर हम बात करें कि सॉइल इरोजन का मेन कोज क्या है किसकी वजह से होता है कहाँ पे होता है जहाँ पे वेजिटेशन बहुत कम होती है प्लांट्स नहीं होते हैं या फिर ओवरग्रेजिंग जो होती है डिफोरेस्टेशन एक्सेसिव प्लॉगिंग ऑफ फिल्स की वजह से क्या होता है सॉइल इरोजन होता है नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द डिफोरेस्टेशन वी हैव डिफोरेस्टेशन कटिंग डाउन ऑफ ट्रीज ऑन अ लार्ज स्केल इज कॉल्ड डिफोरेस्टेशन 
When trees are cut, the soil is left loose, which can be easily blown away by wind or water. So, students, when we cut many plants, cut karte hai, to our soil kya ho jati hai? left loose ho jati hai, aur wo easily kya ho jati hai? blown away ho jati hai with wind or water. Now, we have overgrazing. Repeated grazing by animals and up in the removal of grass on a large scale, which ultimately leads to loosening of soil. Loosing of soil particles that can be eroded by wind or water. So, students look here at this picture we have deforestation. Improper farming. On hills, improper farming makes the soil to be eroded by wind or water. Then we have flood. Floods wash up the soil. So, students, these are the uh, causes of soil erosion. Now, we are going to read about the need to conserve soil. Farmers and gardeners add fertilizers to the plants so that they can grow properly. But if excess fertilizers are used over a long period of time, they may damage the soil. We need to conserve soil because life on the land depends on the soil. It takes millions of years the soil to get formed and we cannot replace it in our lifetime. Now, student, look at this picture. We have a farmer adding fertilizers to crop. So, student, if you all know that life is because of possible, kis ki se hai, soil ki se hai. और सोइल को हमें कंजर्व करना है आप सबको पता है फार्मर्स जो हैं आजकल बहुत ज्यादा फर्टिलाइजर्स ऐड करते हैं प्लांट्स की ग्रोथ के लिए जो हमारी सोइल के लिए बहुत ज्यादा हार्मफुल है और धीरे-धीरे उससे क्या होगा हमारी सोइल की जो कैपेसिटी है वो सब खत्म हो जाएगी और सोइल बेकार हो जाएगी नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू रीड अबाउट समथिंग न्यू दैट इज सोइल पोल्यूशन द प्रसिस्टेंट बिल्ड अप of toxic compounds in the soil is defined as soil pollution. The main reason why the soil becomes contaminated is due to the presence of man-made waste. The waste produced from nature itself as dead plants, carcasses of animals and rotten fruits and vegetables only adds to fertility of the soil. The waste produced from nature itself such as dead plants, carcasses of animals and rotten fruits and vegetables only adds to the fertility of the soil. However, our waste products are full of chemicals that are not originally found in nature and led to soil pollution. So, students, if we talk about soil pollution, there are many things that are due to soil pollution. Soil pollution hota hai. Like, we use so plastic, use polythene, so what do you do? 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 Now, students, we have causes of soil pollution. The first, we have agriculture activities. Modern pesticides and fertilizers are full of chemicals and that are not produced in nature and cannot be broken down by it. These accumulate in the soil, altering its composition and affecting the organisms. Affecting the organisms living in it. So, students, if we talk agriculture activities, then why do they have a lot of soil pollution? Why? Because we use pesticides and fertilizers that we don't do in nature. That's why soil doesn't break down soil. The next we have students, industrial activity. Industrial waste lingers in the soil surface for a long time, for a long time and makes it unsuitable for use. So, student industrial waste ki wajah se bhi humara soil pollution hota hai. Then next we have accidental oil spills. The chemicals present in the fuel detroit the quality of, quality of soil and make them unsuitable for cultivation. These chemicals enter into the groundwater through soil and also make the water undrinkable. Then we have acid rain. Acid rain is caused when pollutants present in the air mixes up with the rain and fall back on the ground. The polluted water could dissolve away some of the important nutrients found. The polluted water could dissolve away some of the important nutrients found in the soil and change the composition of the soil. So students, acid rain जो है वो भी soil pollution को बढ़ाती है। क्या है cause है हमारी soil pollution। Now students, we are going to read about the effects of soil pollution. The major effects of soil pollution include the first we have effect on human health. Crops and plants grown on polluted soil absorb much of the pollutants and then pass these on to us. Second. Effect on growth of plants. It leads to decreased soil fertility. It leads to decreased soil fertility. Then we have toxic dust. The emission of toxic and foul gases from landfills pollute the environment and causes serious effects. Serious effects on health of some people. It also changes in soil composition. Then we have prevention of soil pollution. To prevent soil pollution, it causes must be controlled. 
some waste products from industries and home and homes pollute soil. These pollutants should be treated chemically to make them harmless before they are disposed. So students, kuch waste aisa hota hai, industries ka hai, gharo ka hai, jo bahar aata hai, agar hum usse pehle hi chemically treat nahi karenge, to wo hamari soil ko kya karta hai? Pollution create karta hai, to wo chemically treat karke hume dispose karna chahi. Now the second we have, other pollutants of soil include pesticides and insecticides. Therefore, excessive use of these substances should be avoided. Plastics and polythene bags destroy the fertility of soil. Hence, they should be disposed of properly and if possible, their use should be avoided. Get it, students? So, these are the preventions of soil pollution. Now, we have. Now, students, what we learn in this chapter, we are going to discuss it in a nutshell. All living and non-living things depend directly or indirectly on soil. Soil is made up of different layers. The dead and rotting remains of plants and animals and animals form humus. Earthworms are called friends of farmers. Based on the proportion of various particles present in the soil, the soil can be broadly classified into sandy soil, clay soil and loamy soil. The rate at which water seeps through the soil is known as precolation rate. The removal of topsoil by either strong winds flowing river water or rain is called soil erosion. Now students, we have some keywords. Here we have weathering, the process of soil formation by breakdown of rocks over thousands of years. Then we have humus, an organic matter formed by the dead and rotting remains of plants and animals. Then we have porous, small holes. Then we have soil erosion, the removal of topsoil by either strong winds or flowing river water. Thank you students, we will meet again, till then revise what we learned today.